Tony Abbott's new industry minister will visit Holden's Adelaide plant in a fortnight, saying saving the struggling auto giant is his first priority. Ian McFarlane today strongly hinted he may be prepared to throw more money at the car maker to keep it here. Out with the old and in with the old as John Howard's former industry minister reclaims his portfolio and an enduring challenge. The first text I sent after the announcement as minister was to Mike Devereux to say I want to come down and have a look at your plant. And he won't be alone, Ian McFarlane inviting a cross-party posse to help drive a solution. Nick Xenophon's involved, myself, Martin Hamilton-Smith will be involved, the Premier and Minister Kenyon will be involved. We have in Ian McFarlane a friend uh, in Cabinet. The Premier says he just wants to help engineer a solution. If that means sitting down with uh, people that would otherwise be regarded as opponents, I'm more than happy to do that. But he insists Holden won't stay on if the coalition persists with its half a billion dollar cut to industry assistance. There's going to have to be a change in position. Everyone's going to have to do a bit here. I mean, this, this is a very, very important industry on the brink of closing. The Minister hinting there may be more money in the kitty. I'll be flexible. I haven't got a pocket full of money. I thought they'd still have a bit of the $4.3 left that I gave them last time. But first, he says he needs to see Holden's business case and be persuaded it can make cars Australians and the world want to buy. As long as no one plays games, let's see what we can do in two months. Tom Richardson, 9 News.